Hi, my name is Prashant and I head up the marketing team here at ShareSite. In today's video, I'd like to take you through how to run the CGT report. Many of our customers tell us that they love the CGT report because of thousands of dollars of savings they've been able to achieve. And above all, their accountants love them even more and therefore save lots of time and money in the accounting process of tax filing. To demonstrate the report, I have set up a demo portfolio with just five holdings in it. Apple, Asia, BHP, VAS and Westpac. In this portfolio, Apple and BHP have multiple buys and sells. So let's look into BHP. So if you look at the trades of BHP, we've got a few buys and one sell. So we've got a buy in 2003, another buy in 2021, 2022, and then a subsequent sell on the 16th of May in 2023. Now, let's get into the actual report. So to go to the report, navigate to the reports tab, scroll down to the tax and compliance section where you'll find the capital gains tax report. I click on that, you'll see that the report loads and in this case, it's loaded with the sale allocation method as first in first out. So we've got Apple shares that were purchase date of first September 2020 and sold on the 15th of May and the BHP shares that were bought on the 7th of May 2003 and sold on the 16th of May 2023. Now what this gives you is a summary that has a total long-term capital gains of 2,521 and less the CGT concession that gives you a capital gain of $1,260. Now you can change the sale allocation method either at the holding level or at the entire portfolio level. So let's go ahead and do that at the portfolio level. I'm going to change the setting to minimize CGT and let's update the current report. Now when we do that, what you'll notice is that the Apple shares remain the same because there's only one lot of purchase that we can take the sale out of. In BHP's case, we've got the minimized CGT applied in where we are selling the ones that were purchased on the 1st of September 2021 and therefore actually that results in an actual loss. So when you look at the summary of your tax report, it has a, a loss against the BHP sale and therefore your actual capital gain has now been reduced to just $805. So you can see here that we just did a universal portfolio level change for the sale allocation method. You can apply and play around at an individual holding level and explore the best possible scenario for your circumstances. Thanks for watching this video on how to run a CGT report. Follow us on social media at ShareSite and get notified every time we publish a new video or tutorial. Thanks and see you soon. Bye.